Hi everyone! Welcome po ulit sa aking uh, channel. Uh, so, I, as uh, this is the um, Three Kings uh, today, uh, January the 6th. So, I'm going to fit, fit your something new and something Asian or in, oriental dish on my uh, cooking series. So, um, for Filipino, this is a very ordinary dish, but it's very popular and it's very um, uh, flavorful. So, anyhow, this is very simple, but um, in a way, I'm going to feature all the ingredients that I needed for this dish. Today, I'll, I'll be making a kangkong or apan-apan or a water spinach uh, dobo. So, first, I have shredded uh, ginger, uh, mixed uh, bagong and water, uh, onions, slices of onions, um, the water um, spinach, the stem, and these are the leaves, and these are already cooked um, slices of, this already been flavored and boiled, um, slices of pork belly to um, add in our water uh, spinach or kangkong. So anyway guys, I'm going to, also before I forget, my spicy seasonings are uh, black pepper, soy sauce, salt, uh, coconut, vinegar oil, olive oil, and splenda or whatever, sugar if you want to use sugar. So okay, so we're going to start our cooking demo. We're going to turn on our wok. Alright, I'm going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil. There you go, not too much. Alright, and okay. Okay, I'm going to stand and this time I'm going to cook. I'm going to start cooking. Alright, so I'm going to start with ginger, slices of ginger. You can also add onions. It doesn't matter. People is different way of uh, doing it. You can put onion first and garlic later. It's up to you. I didn't put any um, garlic because I already flavored my meat with uh, all kinds of uh, 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 seasoning and flavoring. So it's already very, very tasty. It's all right. So we're going to brown it a bit. And I want also to brown my, this already been cooked, this is a pork belly. It will uh, give extra flavor to our uh, kangkong or um, water spinach adobo. Alright, so I'm going to brown this a bit, as you can see. The water is, not water, but the oil is still uh, simmering. Sometimes my wok is stubborn. Okay, there you go. Now it's back. It's alive. There you go. And why is the um, simmering? I'm going to add also my mixed bagoong it will also give extra flavor to the dish all right and i have to stir that around all right okay i let it simmer for a while as you can see it's simmering and then we can add our kangkong or water spinach next all right there you go. It's become watery. I can't remember why there's, there's so much uh, liquid. Because I only put a tablespoon of uh, um, olive uh, oil. While we're doing that, I can add my splenda. 
It's up to you guys. Not everybody is uh, putting sugar under uh, adobo or apanapan. But uh, with my regard, every time I cook something sweet and uh, I mean something sour, I'll usually put the something sweet. So I want to contrast the sour uh, flavor into a sweet one. That's why I call it sweet and sour. Alright, so we need to do that. Alright, I'm going to cover it a bit to speed up. Alright. So I don't know guys what else do you want to talk about the streakings. Um, I'm going to cook another dish after this. I'm going to be very busy today because today is um, uh, January the 6th, it's streakings. Uh, it's uh, 12 days past Christmas. And of course like, um, I think all Christians knew about the history of the trickings or three magis that follow the stars to the Bethlehem where uh, Jesus Christ was born. So um, it was the tricking so um, um, how I express that um, how we knew that uh, Christ was born because of that the bright star that they followed to where uh, Jesus uh, Christ was born in the main, main, uh, manger. So anyway, um, I'm going to feature a special um, story about the Magi or the Three Kings on uh, my uh, next video. So stay tuned for that. Alright. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my vinegar. I'm going to put, okay, first, black pepper. Then, I'll use Kikoman. Kikoman soy sauce, my brand. Kikoman. Just a bit of that. Kikoman. And then a bit of salt. Not so salty. I don't like salty food. Because of soy sauce, so that's a good amount. And of course, my favorite coconut vinegar. Next. There, not to. Oops. I only put my splenda. So, I'm not stirring that. I'm going to let it simmer for a while. I think you know already why I don't uh, touch or uh, mix my um, ingredients when I put the vinegar because I think uh, I mentioned that many times that um, I don't want the raw um, taste of vinegar on my food so um, I don't want to stir it right now I let it simmer for a few seconds and then all right it's simmer so it's time to put my this is the stem portion of water spinach or kangkong there you go I'm going to put that first all right and then give it a stir Wow, look at this, guys. Mr. Videographer, could you, could you move a little bit and uh, show them what's inside my wok? I know, uh, I apologize, guys. It's, it's, really, there. it's really smoky. All right, and I'm going to put the top portion of kangkong or uh, water spinach. Alright, and what I'm gonna do, I'm going to give it a stir. Oops. How about that, guys? Wow. I could already smell the sweet and sour flavor or the aroma uh, of all the flavoring and seasoning that. I uh, add on to this Kong Kong. As you can see, guys, if you want a little bit of the color, you can add a bit of soy sauce too. That uh, it's up to you, guys. It's your um, it's your style. So look at this. I just have to. I think I'm going to give it a bit of a stir to absorb the flavor 
Isn't that simple, guys? Everybody can do it. And if you think about it, all the ingredients are very uh, cheap. It's very affordable. Affordable. And I know that kangkong or uh, water spinach is um, available in any Asian country. So, okay. I think this is about... I'm about to do my plating. Okay, guys. All right. So, this is it. Isn't that simple? I'm going to turn off my wok. All right. And I'm going to do my plating. All right. There you go. I'm going to... Woo! Wow. It's New Year. It's a good start of a year. It's New Year. And we have to start eating our greens. Look at this, guys. There. And it's up to you if you want it a little bit. If you want a bit of a liquid, you can put a bit of um, water. In my case, I didn't, as you can see, I didn't put any water because I forgot to mention that I already blanch my um, water spinach and I tell you why I blanched it earlier I did that earlier when I can cook it as it is or direct to the pan the reason for that is I always like color like I don't want to um, lose the color of the spinach like green because once you put your um, vegetables into the vinegar mixture everything will turn brown so in my case that's my technique and i'm going to share to you that that's the way how you keep the color beautiful and you keep its original color by doing things that you uh you can blanch it but uh when you're blanching just put or you can steam it uh don't throw away water because uh, all the flavor is going to water so that's why as i said i didn't put any water but because i already blanched this earlier as you can see I have a bit of gravy on my dish so as you can see guys as you can see here I got a bit of gravy I'm going to put a bit of meat on the top and some other people they want to uh, brown their meat a bit but in my case I didn't do that it's up to you so as you can see guys look at this isn't that beautiful healthy very cheap and affordable but lots it gives a lot of benefits and nutrition to your body. Okay, so for the taste, taste portion, we're going to see or taste. I'm going to eat from where I put my plate because I cannot share that to anybody here because my husband doesn't, doesn't like this kind of dish. Okay, guys, for you guys, from our house, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy New Year! Or happy Three Kings! Mm. Mm. Perfect guys! The kangkong is still crunchy and very tasty mm. and the pork belly gave extra flavor to the dish. So, another dish that I would be happy to recommend to you guys to cook it at home. So, anyway guys, for those people or um, viewers who didn't subscribe yet to my channel, please do subscribe, like, uh, leave your comments if you have any comments, and share it to your family or your friends. So, stay tuned again guys for my next um blog so it's all about some uh something new something asiatic or is uh asian and oriental dish that i'm going to do uh today okay guys thank you so much for your time god bless everyone happy drinkings bye